Today, I have an interview with Jill Iliff, and she was kind enough to do this with me twice because I did not press record the first time. And please, if you would, give me a thumbs up and subscribe at the YouTube channel. And I'm also going to put all the information about Jill in the description below. And here is her website. It is delightful. Go there and enjoy. And now we will go ahead and start the interview. Today I have Jill Iliff with me, and she is so gracious to do this because this person did not press record the last time we talked. And I don't know if we, <laughs> yeah, I did that. So I don't know if we can re replicate the magic that I felt from that conversation, but I also, although felt tremendous failure from it and disappointment was I realized I still got the gift of having that conversation. So I'm grateful for that. So thank you for coming today. You're and, welcome. Oh, especially giving up your, your precious time. I know you're very busy with teaching. Um, and, and creating. So I just wanted to start briefly with the program and then I really want to get to the work that you're currently uh, doing. Okay. So I know you are in season seven and that you, uh, I loved your self-portrait and you got to the semifinals of that episode but did not go through. Yeah. And I, I, I was really rooting for you. <laughs> which oh, is, that's kind. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what I really recognized from your uh, portrait and the, and the work that you did in that short four hours was um, a tremendous ability to draw, which we'll talk about later, juxtaposed with a real ability to um, make quiet backgrounds with a real intensity of hue that made your work look extremely contemporary to me. Yeah. So tell us about your experience of that which was 2020, I should say. Yes, it doesn't seem that long ago to me. Mm. I remember it really well. Unfortunately, it was in COVID times. So although we could do it, we were separated from each other. But yeah. still the camaraderie with the other artists was really nice. So that was very, very positive. I felt disappointed with what I'd done even though I had practiced some four hour painting several times beforehand, I'm quite a slow painter and I enjoy mm. painting slowly. Um, so that was always going to be a challenge for me. Yeah. So overall, it was, a, it was a positive experience for you. It was. At first, it was a little bit disappointing, <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. But you sort of just have to process it. And I would definitely do it again. Uh, wow. I, which I wouldn't have said straight after, but yeah. I think it is actually a genuine program. It mm -hmm. is a television program. Yeah. So it has to engage people and be entertaining. But um, I think the, I think the judges have their own, they know what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And I think that became very apparent throughout the recording because mm -hmm. some people were talked to a lot and some people weren't. Um, oh. but I think they probably just wanted to probe a bit to yeah. the people they were interested in. But mm -hmm. what I really do cherish is that, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember her name, but oh, goodness, the, 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 the judge with the longer, the whiter, the older woman judge, yeah. she came up to me after and said it was a very good painting. And oh, so, nice. um, vain as I am, I thought, well, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I would, I'll would. i take anything. So I wanted to talk about your the work that you're currently doing. And on, on this video, I'm going to be putting lots and lots of examples of the work throughout. Okay. So, the, you know, we'll start with those examples of from the program. But, but in going to your website, it's very clear that you are a very uh, busy and, and dedicated artist. And I guess I want to start where I'm most intrigued because um, I'm always interested because everybody on this program is a really good artist, sort of like, well, now you've got the fundamentals down. What are you going to do with it? And I'm fascinated by your series about lives before. Yeah. And if we could talk about that and I'll be able to put those examples here. Tell me about the evolution of that. How, how, how does, how, yeah, I want to know everything about it. 
Okay, so that started really because, um, like most families, we had a lot of family photographs, mm -hmm. just little snaps mm -hmm. um, on a box brownie, and also oh, a from, box brownie with the yeah. scalloped edges. Yeah, oh, and God. from yeah the the Second World War mm. um, when people sort of had photographs taken cheaply to send off, mm -hmm. you know, to each other. Um, and I had a photograph from my dad, who um, was an Edwardian, actually. He was quite old when I was born. So I had all these photographs um, and I worked from them because I really felt that they just showed a moment in time and they gave you a narrative that could be true but may not be true. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you have, if you look at a camera, you know, you look in the viewfinder, yeah. or if you're painting, if you went like that, uh -huh. that view would be different. Yes. Uh, and so what's true and what's not true. Um, and by focusing in on the things that interested me and mm -hmm. leaving other things left out or blank, it pushes the narrative on, um, and so that's, that's what I do. So, I don't like to overwhelm. That's so interesting because that is so much the dialogue of what's going on today with images. What's real, what yeah. isn't. So you're you're right on the pulse of that. And I want to yeah. talk about the one that which I'll insert. Uh, I always go above because that's what I do when I'm editing, but it'll, it'll appear right where we are. Okay. The yellow, it has a yellow, very yellow, um, background and you've used the photograph two ways one you have it inserted into the picture plane as if it is a photo yeah. and the other one is not and so it seems to me like that image must have intrigued you so tell me about because I'm always interested in a series I mean the, the overall is a series but mm. those two in particular what was happening that made you create those variations so that's my brother and sister, and they were, oh they're gosh. older than me. My sister's 10 years older than me, and my brother's 16 years older than me. Oh and it was obviously a photograph that my dad would have taken before mm. I was born. Um, oh. And I have it still now, and it's a very, very small photograph mm -hmm. with lots of creases. Oh. And so the history of it includes the creases and mm. the little tears, Mm. Um, but I thought it was a really joyful image. Yeah. And and so I painted it as a replica of the mm -hmm. actual photograph, complete with all the tears. Mm -hmm. um, and then I took out the bit that I was the most interested in, which was the children. Mm. Uh, and there is something really interesting about how if you're comfortable with somebody, you will touch them without noticing. And yeah. so... Yeah. That's part of mm. it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the intimacy of that mm. and, and trust. You know, it has to do with yes. one of the, you know, balance and, and, and uh, people will see one of the um, yeah. sister is on skates. Yeah. Um, the other one I really want to talk about is it's a blue painting overall in the background and it's an older woman holding the black and white photo. Yeah. And you have so carefully directed where you want your lookers to look. Yeah. And so what was the story that you were telling there? So I, I did a residency, at a woman's football club um, in Lewis in South England. Mm -hmm. And I'm not interested in sport at all. <laughs> I'm not interested in football. But what I was interested in is women working towards something with very little reward oh. but just for the joy of it mm -hmm. and now women's football has become much you know it, it, it's become very popular and oh. um so i went and did the residency with them because they are the first team that have parity between men and women uh, the women get paid the same as the men and whatever and um oh. She was somebody who was introduced to me because she went to watch the team and she oh. used to play football for her factory team when oh. she was a young woman. Mm -hmm. And she was in her 80s. I didn't like to ask exactly how old she was. Yeah. 
uh, and I arranged to go and visit her mm -hmm. and photograph her mm -hmm. and talk to her. And the actual photograph that I inserted, um, I found online that her oh. daughter had put online. So oh. when I went to visit her, I said, look, this is what I'm going to do. Can you sit there like mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, and the oh. colour blue. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to insert yeah. this. And yeah. the colour blue was the colour of her top. Oh, oh. And it, and yeah. it was just lovely. Yeah. And so when I spent so much time in the detail on the spur of the moment, I just thought I'm not going to paint her top. I'm just going to draw it mm -hmm. with a, mm -hmm. which was a bit nerve wracking because it was mm -hmm. either you do it right first time or you don't. And I just really liked that. Yeah. So, so that's the story of that. So now about your portraits, I would imagine that you are commissioned or will take commissions for portraits. And um, I'm going to put several of them here. Um, you know, there's just no question for me that you would have been able to um, tackle the final commission in this program with, with no difficulty. I'm not saying it wasn't yeah. going to be hard. It was going to be hard, but you've got yeah. the goods. One thing I notice about your um, portraits, though, is um, they're, they're varied. Yes. Um, and and some of them are are um, in my mind I don't know how to say this like a little bit more contemporary in the sense of um, involvement in the figure and then very quiet in the space. Well, actually, they're all very quiet in the space in the background. Do you already have in your mind's eye where you want it to go, or does it evolve as you are working, or is it Evol a combination of the two? Yeah. Combination of the two, really. Yeah. I mean, on my website, I've only got some of my portraits. Uh, um, quite a lot of them that are commissioned are not on there. They, um, The thing is, when you have an artist's website, it's not a catalogue. It's yeah. you're putting forward the ones that you want people to see. Um and so a lot of them on my website are, are me saying this is how I want it to be. Yeah. Um, so there's one of my husband, Paul, and I painted him and I directed it completely because I'd been to see um, a show by Leonardo da Vinci at the oh. London National Portrait Gallery. And so I wanted it to sort of replicate the old masters with having a dark background and the clothes yeah. telling you about the person. Yes, I'm looking at it right now. Yes, program. But your drawing ability is unbelievable. Absolutely Thank unbelievable. Um, now, of course, I can see that you're doing with that with paint as well. But... Um, there's one in particular that I'm going to put above about with our braids on a woman's head. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I got slightly obsessed. So oh. my daughter, grown up daughter, she has long curly hair and she mm -hmm. came around one day and her hair was getting on her nerves. So she plaited it on her head just to keep mm -hmm. it out of the way. And mm -hmm. I've got an enormous amount of hair. So, yeah. Um, and so I started looking at people's hair. And in London at the time, there was a lot of braiding on top of heads. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw that particular girl that, from the drawing that you're looking at. Yeah. And she was at a bus stop outside a college. And I just went up to her and asked, could I photograph her hair? I said, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. And she, was, she couldn't have cared less. She just went, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Um, and so I drew her hair. So, um, and it's one of my favorites. I just love it. <laughs> I love it too. The one that also struck me as sort of being almost in the same family in a way is the uh, painting, I'm going to say slash drawing, it's really a painting, of the hair of the rabbit. I don't know if you remember. Oh, that. yes. Yes. That sort of hair. Um, I was <laughs> that working. Kind of, yeah. It was. I was it, working with a gallery in the country, oh. and, they, and the clientele really liked uh, animals and things sure. like that. And I, 
and I'd moved to the country, so it it was a, a series that I did. Um, oh, it's a oh, it's really really yeah. special. I I just have to stop one second to talk about the still lifes because yeah. um, they are, and I mean this in a totally good way. They are so quiet, but they're yes. not quiet at all. And I wondered if you had been influenced by Morandi at all. <laughs> No, or, not particularly. Uh, yeah, I was looking. I was looking at Vermeer, to be honest. Vermeer. So, yes. Oh, tell me more. But, well, if I could have a painting, I'd have a Vermeer. <laughs> oh. And, and it is the quietness. Yes. And um, and so the the way that, that I process those is I look around my house. Mm -hmm. for things that I love oh. and I look at fabric and I iron in creases into the fabric mm -hmm. oh. and mm -hmm. then I go into my kitchen and light things very carefully and then work from that and I want them to be quiet but I want them mm -hmm. to tell a story I just they want do. them to they come do. down they tell they're 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 just as alive as as, as people for for yeah. me but um and I love the device, you know, very classical device of you yeah. know, flat plane, but allowing mm -hmm. not just the flat plane, but that front plane yeah. to be down, you know, gives yeah. you a tremendous, you have both depth and width going on in those paintings um, yeah. and the space between things. It, it allows mm -hmm. me to look at it, at them, I should say, for a very, very, very long time. It isn't like, oh yeah, I yeah. saw that, I'm off. There's a lot to mm -hmm. engage in. And yeah. that's what I want yeah. from a painting that I purchase. I want to. Yeah. I want to have an ongoing kind of dialogue with it. Yeah. And so, and so now your still lifes, and I think I asked you last time you're willing to do this to, with me, and I didn't record, is about. Um, I said still lifes, but I mean landscapes. If would yes. you enter landscape artist of the year? Because clearly you're now living in the country, and you, I mean, you can paint any darn thing you want. You can, <laughs> Thank <I> mean, you. <laughs> But, but where are your thoughts about landscape or, or, or do you have any? I would, I would definitely, but I would be quite nervous about it. I was, I was quite confident going into Portrait Artist of the Year. I didn't think I'd win it, but I felt that I could, I could do okay. <laughs> Landscapes I've been doing not for so long. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would but I feel like my landscapes are developing. Um, I'd give it a go. You only have one life, you know. Oh, I love your bravery. <laughs> Doesn't well, matter. <laughs> well, you know, but also, you know, um, but you have the goods to back up the bravery too. Although as I'm talking to more people from the program, I'm finding out how incredibly well-adjusted this group of people are. <laughs> They are, they're, they're not in it for the program. I mean, they, no. I mean, that's like this much of why they're doing it. They're in it because they're dedicated to this life of painting and sharing and growing and developing. And it's just so mentally healthy in, in a, in a profession that is not known for tremendous mental health. <laughs> I mean, historically, you know, the stories about no. them go and the, you know, we've read all of their, you know, we all have an arc to our stories. So, you know, we have good times yeah. and bad times. And if you happen to be a famous artist, you know, you're going to, you know, your, your life is there. And, and, and didn't some of those men, mostly men, have quite dramatic lives? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I did feel that the artists on the day were very supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. So I know I told you before, but... Um... Yeah. I'd never watched the program when I applied oh, yeah. for it. <laughs> Which is astounding. <laughs> but it was it was COVID. It was funny yeah. times. And I just felt, oh, this is something that I'm, I'll have a go at. And if, if I don't get on, then that means I haven't got on. And if they yeah. accept me, it means I'll be able to do it. So, uh, And then once the producer rang me and offered, and offered me a slot, uh, I, I yeah. quickly looked at the series before mm -hmm. uh, so i still haven't watched the majority of the series um 
but I will do because I really enjoy them when I watch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thank you so much, Jill, for doing this with me today, especially since it was a second time, which was entirely okay. my error. And uh, I will be inserting all of your artwork and please encouraging people to uh, go and see what you're currently doing. Thank okay, you very so much. thanks again. Lovely to meet you. Thank okay. you very much.